right now on Fighting Boys. TJ argues with Scotty that 1995's Mortal Kombat utterly destroys the 2021 reboot. It's time for the final round. Who will score a fatality on this episode of Fighting Boys? Oh man, stuck in nostalgia land, huh? Do you think I want to be here making this argument? I really don't. I really don't even want to be making this argument. I'll be honest with you. The whole, my whole life, I went and saw Mortal Kombat. I was a kid. It was, not, I was, it was 1995. I'm 10 years old. Yeah, was you were there with me. You yeah, were there with me. You were a little eight-year-old or whatever you were. Yeah. We went and saw the movie. What was the big complaint? Where's the blood? Where's the blood that we love? Because that was the selling point of the Mortal Kombat games. Blood, 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 blood. And then all these years, I've been waiting. Ooh, maybe they're going to make Mortal Kombat good one day. Maybe they're going to make a good Mortal Kombat. They did. Well, I made this thing in 2021, and I gotta say, you know, it has the blood. They listen to the fans. Careful what you wish for, because they gave me the blood, but they took away everything else that was special uh, about yeah. the movies. You know, yes, they, they sure did. This is fan service. This is fan service where they actually listen to the fans for once. And you're upset. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, well, they did the fan service. Oh, you know what they forgot to do, though? You were a dumb little kid. No, they forgot to make the movie, though. They forgot to make a movie out of it. You were a dumb little kid. You're a dumb little kid. Let's set the scene. You're a dumb little kid, mm -hmm. and you saw Mortal Kombat, and I was a dumb little kid too. And I was so dumb, I didn't realize that Goro, oh, Goro rode slow. We now get a fast, tough Goro. Fast get, and tough. Wait, wait a minute. A You're really gonna make the argument Goro. to me that Goro was fast and tough? Okay. Yes. He shows up one time. The first time you see him, he's a silhouette. The second time you it's see him, him he's getting his ass beat. No, he, and he's no, killed. He, oh, look. Spoiler alert, he's it's killed. It's Mortal Kombat. They've got it. Look, the villain. Yeah, the okay. Fight. I'm not against Goro being killed, Goro but like, be Goro should have ripped some people's arms off first. He should have played drums with the severed arms. Look, they got a lot of characters, man. Listen. So, and he's a big wait, Goro fan. Mortal Kombat 1995. Sure. Wait, who did more? Who did Goro dirtier? Because in the 1995 Mortal Kombat, maybe Goro the special effect was a little awkward. Uh, so maybe the special so effect was a little awkward. But you know what? At least he had some cool Goro. lines. At least he had some cool lines, and at least he had some kind of personality. I'll give, look, I'll, look, I'll give you. They didn't give him enough lines. I'll give you that one little tiny. Remember thing. the thing. He but goes up to the Kano. So much better. They did. I mean, what about he Sub knocks the drink in Kano's Are you going to argue they knew Sub Zero and Scorpion better in this one? The 2021 does it so much better. All right. What so are they in 95? Ooh, I'm Blue Ninja. Ooh, I'm Yellow Ninja. <laughs> Get over here. They're a joke. They, they did. did. Right, wait, wait. Oh, wait, hold on. in Feudal Japan. Oh, Scorpion. Right? Scorpion in this new movie, though. Great. Scorpion in this movie. Okay. Terrific. Is he a better character than he was in 95? Sure. But how much do you really get of him? You get one just scene in the beginning. Just you get enough. one scene at the end. He's gone for the vast majority of the movie. You see him at the very beginning. You see him at the very end. He's not a character throughout. And you know what? It didn't even make sense. This this guy, uh, Cole Young or Colton Young or whatever the hell. This, Cole, Cole Young. Yeah, Cole Young. Where, which game is he from, by the way? Look, they want to make up a new character. So why bad. do they want to make up a new character? Why? What's wrong with oh, using literally? Creative. What's wrong with no, using they're literally? Too creative. Too creative. No, they're too oh creative. yeah, because oh, Cole oh, Young is such God. a creative they're character. They're oh character. yeah, yeah. Oh. He's such a creative want some, guy. Want some Boudreaux's butt face for that butt hurt, dude? Come on. Oh, they made a new Cole character. Cole Young. Oh wait, wait a minute. Mortal Kombat. Hundred characters. Wait, 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 and develop something new if no fucking fan ever lets them have a chance. They never give new characters a chance. Or it's like, they instantly just go, oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's awful. Like, we don't like it. More of the old. More of the same. Well, then, then you know, they turn around and they go, why don't we make anything new? And that's why, because they're so butthurt about every new change they make. Maybe Koyang isn't the best character of all time, but at least they were thinking about something different. You have a game with hundreds. You want to talk about a movie that does fan service. You got a game with hundred characters or more mm -hmm. throughout the course of Sony games. So many of those characters, super iconic, super popular, super yeah. well-known. Right. And instead they want some generic, oh, I, I love my family. I'm Cole Young. Cole Young is like a character that would have been introduced in Mortal Kombat 4 that would have been gone by Mortal Kombat 5 and no one would have missed his ass either. So whatever. Oh, okay. You're smiling, you're laughing because you know it's friggin' true, no, man. Dude. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. How about this Cole Young shit? <laughs> Let me tell you something about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I get that. But it's a Mortal Kombat movie. 
And you know what the good thing about having Cole Young being a little disposable, uh, expendable character is that, you're right, even if he's gone from the next one, even if Cole Young isn't, doesn't return, he was just expendable. They want to kill him in the next one, they can kill him. It's Mortal Kombat. You're not really supposed to get too attached to Mortal Kombat characters, are you really? Is it a little bit naive to be super attached to characters that could die at a moment's notice? Let me tell you something. All right, the argument here is, let's refocus this. This is supposed to be how 95 is better. Let me tell you the one reason... The strongest reason, in my opinion, 95 is better. Okay. So look, well, fair enough. both these movies have excellent martial arts. I will say that your 2021 it's one better. has slightly on. better, better fight slightly, better. slightly better. Slightly better. No, slightly, I'm only not, slightly. I'm Go not, back and watch some of the martial. Wait a minute. Go back and watch some of the martial arts scenes in the original Mortal Kombat. They are not. They're not slouchy. They're more slouchy. They are not slouchy. Um, they're pretty well slick. choreographed fight scenes. No, I have to disagree. There are some pretty well choreographed fight scenes. That fucking fight between subs. That fight between. Uh, Scorpion and Johnny Cage in the middle of the movie is a great fight scene. It is. Better it has. Set, it has some pieces. some awkward special effects. You know but what it's nineteen ninety five. The set okay? pieces might have actually been a little bit better in that one. I, I think maybe the scenery was a little bit better, but the fight itself, it's not. It, it lacks. I'm sorry. It does not lack. Okay, listen. It's a lacking fight. The fight scene. Whatever. See in the new one. I'll tell you what the main difference to me is though. The characters are done dirty in this new version. There ain't a single character, maybe with the exception of Sub Zero and Scorpion, that ain't done dirty. Compared to how they were done in that last movie. Raiden, your your movie. No personality, just a grumpy, like, I'm the god. They went more inconsistent. The series, they went with more of the series, Raiden. They, 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 they're more inspired by the games. Look, they did more fan service. They didn't want to be Raiden to be over the top white dude. They didn't want so look, that. Christopher Lambert, maybe you could say that he was miscast because of his race or whatever, but in terms of the character he portrayed, there Raiden was serious. He was that threat. He was that badass. He could shoot electricity and shit. But you know what? He also cared about his fighters and became personally this and emotionally guy, invested in their does. lives. There was, a, there was an element of him being like a father figure to everybody or like an uncle. And he'd like wrap his arms like, you humans are wonderful. You know, all that stuff. And then... He didn't understand the character. He was playing a demigod. He's supposed to be a little dispassionate with this stuff because he's seen something... A little like dispassionate. This this Raiden is freaking boring. Just so like, oh, he must be your school principal with lightning powers, okay? <laughs> um... He sucks. Their Shang Tsung sucks. He looks kind of cool, but he's... No, Shang Tsung looks pretty He's cool. boring as fuck. He has no personality. He's just like, I'm evil. Like, There's we so haven't seen ch- that before. He's like a Marvel he even, villain. He doesn't even fight in this one yet, dude. He doesn't even fight in this one. They're saving that for the next one. Yeah, well, I don't they know. They want to build people up. Like, look, why did the MCU... I mean, wait, wait. Build him up? How you build him up? By never giving him... He, he was boring. The only thing... The only cool thing he does, he sucks out one soul... But you that know, shows you his power, though. Yeah, that's that's one all it shows. Doesn't show you his character he, at all. He solos easily one main character. Uh-huh. He is like the movie sets it up like they, they, to them they're like they're contemptible. The, the 1995 they're contemptible Shang Tsung is way cooler. You know, just like you fools, I'll come for your souls. You know all this shit. Look, you know, yeah, whatever I love, the hell. I love that performance too. But look, it's a little bit too over the. You top. will die. Yeah, too over the top like this movie was some grounded freaking oh wow yeah it's the super. portrayals of Raiden was more grounded the it's not grounded Raiden at all okay it's before. just as cheesy so let's not even go it there cheesy. it's cheesy as it hell cheesy. I think I actually quoted uh, the Emperor when I was doing a Shang Tsung thing a minute ago but whatever who cares anyway listen you're a fucking idiot you don't know what the hell you're talking about this this the first Mortal Kombat movie 1995 could have used a little blood. Won't lie about that. A little bit cheesy, a little bit silly. I'm not claiming it's a masterpiece. All I'm doing, all I'm claiming is pound for pound a more enjoyable experience than this joyless, empty Kano is the only good thing in it. Garbage freaking a fire of a movie. Unfortunately for you, TJ, a lot of people feel very differently. This is a fan service film. Ultimately. Better fighting, better choreography, better understanding of the series, better locations. Look, are there are there some uneven points in the movie? Yes, that, but that, almost any movie is going to have uneven points. They're setting up a new trilogy, a new franchise, and there's a lot of promise here. Yeah, you know, it's like look at the next generation. The first season of that show, great show, but it takes time to find its it, it's like its footing. And this show, and this show, I'm not the show, but this movie is doing the same thing. It's taking time to find its footing, and I think. If you look at it in that light, in that context, I have to give Mortal Kombat the original credit, but this elevates the franchise to a place that, quite simply, in 95, it couldn't go. It didn't have the special effects, it didn't have the vision, and while it tries its best, it ultimately almost comes across as a, you know, schlocky B-movie, where this has actually mainstream blockbuster appeal, 
that can take this series to the heavens. You know what it had, Scotty? It had the heart. It had the heart of a goddamn champion, all right? The original Mortal Kombat, say whatever you want about its failings. I won't say that it doesn't have them. I won't say they're not present. But what I will say is, when I think back to their Liu Kang versus the Liu Kang in this one, one's a character, one's a cardboard cutout. When I think back to Sonya Blade, character, cutout. When I think back to any of the characters, Raiden, uh, there isn't even a Johnny Cage in the new movie, and you know when they put him in the sequel, he's probably going to be just as bland and awful as the rest of them. Um, across the board, Goro goes from being a character to being a cardboard cutout. That's what this is. It's a cardboard movie for cardboard people with cardboard brains like yours, Scotty. <laughs> okay. TJ. I'll let you have the last word. I don't even care. Go ahead. If these two movies fought in Mortal Kombat, not only would Mortal Kombat 21 finish that movie, but it would be a flawless victory. <laughs>